what is going on? It's August the 18th. It is time to get back to working, regardless of what my body is saying. School has started. I finally went to Comanche and got my blood work done. I went about two months over. There's my boy. Went two months over what I should have done to get my blood work done. I should have had it done in about three months. Waited a little longer because just, you know, our summer was crazy busy and every time I could have gone, I just didn't want to. Not that the trip was difficult, just didn't want to go. So finally went, blood work's all good. Things are working normally again. Liver, kidneys. I don't know why I said liver. So got the blood work done, everything is good. I am back on the keto diet. Another thing that went on during this time of dealing with uh, kidneys or whatever, this kind of downtime, is that my migraines flared up pretty hard again. So I talked with my doctor, we bumped up my uh, topiramate, and see how that goes. And if it doesn't go well, we're gonna try something else. And I don't know if this has anything to do with the migraines or not. I don't know if it'll help it or not. At this point, it doesn't matter. But I can't atrophy any longer. It's not doing me any good, obviously. So, it is time. And I've said this a bazillion times, but it's time again to get back under the barbell, get back on the mats, get back to swinging. It's time to get back to training, getting stronger. I don't have to be a power lifter. That doesn't matter to me. I just want to be healthy. I just want to be able to do my job that we have been blessed to do. And that's it. That's all it boils down to. I will deal with the pain and migraines and recovery in the ways that I know how. I will use the tools and the knowledge that I have gained over the years and move forward. Uh, and so let's get to it. I'm tired of talking. I want to hit these bags. I'm going to go get changed. I'm going to get my boxing gloves on, drink my go, and I'm ready. Let's do it.
just a little bit out of breath. I'm doing a warm up for squats. Very short warm up. Today's video is going to be maybe it's going to be quick. I don't know. All it's going to be are my maxes for squat, deadlift, overhead press, and bench for the week. I am going to get back to doing the 531 programming that I did in the summer of 2020 because I really enjoyed it. It was really effective. Whew, forgive me, my cardio is terrible. Uh, and I tried to do my warm up pretty quickly. But I'm going to get back to doing that. That's going to be my lifting schedule. Not going to push it tremendously, but I want something that's going to be quick that I can fit into my schedule, that's gonna be efficient, that I know I enjoy, and that's going to be something that I don't really have to think about, that I can just plug in, plug in the numbers, and plan my workouts, and that's that. And I don't have to kind of just tag along numbers, see how I feel, things like that. Now, obviously, if I don't feel good for a week, I'm not going to do a 95% week, drop it down, you know, see how it goes. But this video is just going to be Max's getting back under the bar. It has been too long and it's time to get back to it regularly, consistently. No more atrophying of the muscles, no more just getting worse. It's time to get better, time to go through. That's it. That's the max. That's all my shoulders want to hold. I'm not putting my body in any. Forgive me. I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> not going to put my body under any more strain than that. That is sufficient for uh, my shoulders and everything to begin with. So, in my opinion, that's a great start. I'm going to look up, see what my old maxes are. I'll post them here as we go along. Uh, see where we're at to begin with on going through the mountain. Because that's how we got to do it. We just got to make a clean start. And it's time for a new evolution, you know? A new way of doing things. Same program, but different mindset. That's how we do. Because, guess what? My birthday is in two weeks. And I'm going to be the big 40. That's right. 40. Kind of looking forward to it, though. 40. Really? Like... I don't feel, I don't feel that old up in here. I do in my body, but not in my brain. So let's get my body functioning better. All right, it is a little later because I'll tell you why. I'm not used to this stuff. <laughs> I got really sore after I did squats, and then I did training on the mats, I did jujitsu, I did judo, and I'm telling you, put some good effort into it, and I got really, really sore. So I did good recovery stuff, I went and saw my massage therapist, I did some good foam rolling, stretching, recovery, 
made sure I just didn't hurt myself and, and didn't get injured. And here we are a little bit of time later. I'm about to do bench. Got to get the rig set up. And uh, we will get to that. So just let's do it. It's my birthday. I'm going to lift because I love it. So let's do it. By the way, it's my 40th birthday. <laughs> the big 4-0. Finished that up as you saw. Uh, failed at 105, but that's okay. Got 95 up. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not even gonna estimate that I could have gotten 100. Um, somebody's here from my birthday celebration today, so I'm gonna cut it off right here. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope that you are liking these styles of videos where I'm just kind of talking about training, uh, training here in the gym, training in the dojo, sharing how the dojo is going. Um, so follow along, follow the journey, journey with me now into age 40 and follow along how the dojo is growing and changing. And I hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.